What's going on guys? It's your boy Fox back in the house with an exciting discussion. So as of per this recording, which is literally the day after the new side chapter for An Ordinary has dropped, it was titled Ray, and it, it was a dope um like I said, shout out to Digi and all of them for reminding me that the chapter had dropped because I had completely forgotten about it. But the chapter was juicy. We got a few things. I want to talk about from oh, reading that chapter last night. Also, and if you haven't seen my reaction to it, here's a card for it up in the, uh, the top and all that. But jumping straight into it, so the new side story focuses on uh, Ray, uh, Remy's older brother, or X Static, which is his superhero name. But you know, as a per the current storyline in Unordinary, Ray is currently deceased uh, with uh, Ember's brand. Uh, seared on his flesh r.i.p to the man but this this chapter was even though it, i felt like it was i felt like it was kind of short i felt like we still got a lot out of it so one thing that i noticed is that ray was a mentor when he first um when he first entered wellston which honestly i guess it's not too surprising because uh arlo, arlo was like a three i think arlo was like a 3.6 when he came into uh Wellston, which is still considered, um, uh, high, no, it's consider, still considered an elite, I think. Uh, co correct me if I'm wrong and all that, but you know, Ray coming into Wellston, he's a mid tier. He is his power level is 3.2. Obviously, we know what his ability is from previous chapters. It's a lightning, so there was no need to go into that and everything. But we also meet a new character. His name is Kyo. I don't know pronounce how you want. It's uh, K U. Yeah, K U Y O. I'm saying Q Yo and all that. But he his power level is a 3.5. We don't know what his ability is though. But when Ray first meets him, he's holding some boxes and his eyes are glowing, so his ability is activated. So I'm not the only one that thought this, but it, I'm assuming his ability just has something to do with it. He can increase his strength. I don't know. Maybe he's like uh, all for uh, not all for one, one for all out here, and he can make wind pressure with a single punch or something. I don't know. I doubt it but so as so when Ray first sees Kyo he's like hey you know uh, do you need some help with all the boxes and all that stuff and but he's like Kyo's like uh, no nah, don't you got stuff to do and Ray's pretty much like no nah, I, I, I don't for the most part but Kyo with the uh, Kyo is Ray's um, Ray's roommate so they're roommating together so you got a mid tier and a high tier together and all that whatever high tier elite tier i can't remember like the exact power levels for what separates the high tiers or the elites i don't know if it's like elite high tier or it's high tier and elite y'all let me know um and i'll make sure to commit that to memory because i got a video that kind of talks about it but so after that i don't know i don't know how far we cut i don't know if it's like the next day or a few weeks into the school year or whatever so Q, uh, Qyo and Ray are walking down the hallway. They're just talking, like you know, like how was your day? How was class and all that? And then this brown-haired girl bumps into Ray. She stumbles and she drops all her stuff. Now, I'm curious. Now, I am very curious on who they may be. Someone said, I know, uh, I saw a theory. I can't remember where and all that, but someone was like, that might. What if John has like an, a sister or something, and like his mom took off with her or something? I don't know how I feel about that. I think I'll, I think I might make a video about that. I'm not not entirely sure on all that. But as you know, trips and when she trips, you know, Ray does the normal thing, which is normal in society. Like, oh, you tripped. Uh, let me help you out. That's not the case. After, as immediately after he's about to go and try to help the girl, Kyo grabs his arm. He grabs it very violently and with a tight grip. I would have been like, bro, we may be friends, but don't you ever in your life grab me like that. I'm gonna knock you in your jaw. But anywho, I digress. So, uh, Kyo's like, no, he's like, don't, don't bother with her. He's like, and apparently she's a low tier, but we didn't see her face or anything. We just saw like 
her uniform, her in her uniform and brown hair, and, it, and that was it. She she got out of dodge and all that. But yeah, Kyo Kyo definitely has the uh, high tier mentality and all that. He doesn't really want to mess with uh, low tiers or. I, I, I hate to see how he is with cripples and all that, which, which would be typical high tier, elite tier uh, behavior and all that. But what is surprising the most is the look on Ray's face. He's like, that's that's not okay. And you know, Ray's like, you know, he's like, maybe she's like, she didn't. It's not like she did it on purpose. You know, it just happens. You know, and Kyo, he's not having. He's like, yeah. And he, you know, he looks at Ray. And he's like. Boy, he's what stupid. you talking about? But he's like, anyway, forget all that noise. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, and then we also get another... Well, no. We'll talk about what QEO said in a minute. I want to go back to Ray's attitude. Because this... Because like we said, when Arlo said he took over... No, when Arlo said while he was the Jack waiting in line to become the next king of Wellston, Ray was the king and he was imposing... Uh, he was trying to make everybody. He was trying to. He was trying to make society how it is now. Like there, where it's like you know you can't just walk up to some like I'm a high tier, you're a low tier. Give me your lunch money and they just like here you go. Don't don't hurt me. And, you know all that crap and everything. And Ray was trying to be like treat everyone equal. Um, and you know if you have a problem, let's you know just try to work it out instead of just beating each other's heads in like cavemen and all that and everything and you know I in like uh, like oh uh, when that happened uh I did kind of think I was like what what drove Ray to have that mentality because at first I kind of thought um it was like maybe something uh happened when he was in school which I mean if it does happen uh we're gonna find out hopefully but no um, it seems like Ray just naturally was that was, is naturally compassionate towards others. Not like you know overbearing, compassionate like like he'll go go out of his way to do stuff. But he's like you know it's like like you know I don't mind having a low t- like he wouldn't mind having a low tier friend, maybe in a cripple friend or for that matter. Because Ray just seemed like dude that that was unnecessary. Like I I was just gonna help her out. It wasn't like I was gonna buy her a whole new a wardrobe or something you feel me but Kyo was not having any of that so after that whole little debacle and everything they continue walking down the uh, hallway and uh, Kyo was telling uh, Ray that he had got called into the mistress head office mistress not headmaster mistress so that means there was someone in charge of Wilson before the current headmaster. His name escapes me. Let me know in the comments and all that below. But that is very interesting. So I'm still I'm still crafting like a theory for this in my mind. But so far what I got is is that while Ray was going to school before he got to his fourth year, I'm gonna say the headmistress gets replaced with the current headmaster of Wilson probably right around Gray's second or third year now why we don't know I'm give me some time and I'm gonna come up with a, with a theory on that one because that that that's very interesting to me that we have a mistress uh, a headmistress instead of a headmaster and all that I was like oh ooh. like what happened to her now actually one theory which doesn't make any type of sense like at all um it's you can say I'm really, really grasping for straws. For some odd reason, I thought that the headmistress could be Serafina's older sister, but I feel like that would have been brought up uh, in the, you know, in the main story at some point. I'm not really sure because obviously I can't read Ura Sensei's mind. Otherwise, I'd be all over these theories. Anywho, so yeah, but I think that doesn't make any sense because even though we don't know, do we know her age? If we know Layla's age, let me know. You look, I'm working. Y'all gotta work with me here. There's a lot of stuff in Unknown and there, and it's a lot. And sometimes it's hard to remember all the stuff off the top of my dome and everything. But if we know her age, let me know. But right now, I'm gonna go with we don't know how old she is. She doesn't look like she's that much older than Serafina. Serafina and all them, I think, are like 17, 18 years old. Cause Arlo's a fourth year. And Remy, John, and the rest of them are all third years. Well, most of the main people that matter in the uh, story right now. So, yeah, I, I'm going to say they're like 17, 18 years old. And I would have to... Well, she, Layla is dating Darren. 
But that doesn't mean that. I know men, some dudes like to date younger women and all that. But I'm going to go on a limb and say, let's say Layla's about, who, like 25, maybe. At best, like 20. Maybe, no, she might be 28. I'm gonna, Yeah, I'm going to say 28 to like 24. I think that's how old she is. You know, uh, the headmaster of Wilson right now, he looks like he's about in his like late late 30s to early 40s but i mean people age different i mean i don't look my age and if y'all want to know my age i'm 26 years old (laughs) but yeah so that's very interesting no so after that you know uh qio tells ray's like oh so she he's like the headmistress called me into her office she told me i should study up i should go check up with the royals and stuff you know kind of study under them because I am one of the strongest first years in school right now. And Ray's like, what, really? And he's like, yeah, and Kyo's like, yeah, cause you know, I'm awesome, you know. You, you stick with me, buddy, you'll be just like me. <laughs> Which, I mean, technically is kind of true cause Ray does become the king before his death <laughs> and all that. So afterwards they go and meet, they go outside, I don't know where, and they meet up with the Royals. Now we see three people, we see when we see two females and a male. The male looks like John with green hair. Um, the girl with the red hair, she kind of, I said she kind of looks like Remy grown up, but I think she kind of reminds me more of Serafina if Serafina just had red hair and didn't have the uh, green uh, highlights and all that, or whatever. And then we saw a purple haired girl. She, her hairstyle kind of reminded me of Cecile, but I don't think, you yeah, know, we didn't see her face. But the girl in the red, who is the queen and the top student at Wellston in this current time period of the story, her name is Cassandra. Uh, that's all we know about her. We don't know her ability or anything. We just know her name is Cassandra. She has red hair, and she's the number one student at Wellston. I'm like, now someone in my comment section uh, in last night's video and all that was like, Cassandra looks like she's going to cause some trouble. I do not think she's going to cause trouble. I feel like she has somewhat of the same mentality as our boy as our boy Ray, or I'm going to call him Young Boy Ray, because he's a first year at Wellston now in, in this uh, side story and everything. I feel like those two are going to mesh very well, and I feel like the other Royals... I feel like the other Royals are probably going to have some turmoil, especially Kyo. I feel like Kyo is going to be probably one of... Not an ant... Yeah, an antagonist uh, in this one. I don't think he's gonna necessarily like try to fight Ray or kill him or anything like that. But I, I feel like you can tell Kyo is in a, a high tier all the way through. He does not like uh, l- uh, low tiers. Definitely cripples. He's he's cool with Ray because right now, uh, so he's cool with high, he's cool with like people. He's cool with mid tiers and up uh, and all that because. Ray is technically weaker than him. Ray's 3.2. Uh, Qyo is 3.5, and all that. So, so yeah, the, the, that's that's all that happened. I mean, afterwards, I mean, Cassandra and the Royals are like, you know, we got high hopes for you. We'll see y'all around. Deuces, and the chapter ends. Now, this this side story couldn't have came at a better time, because now I have stuff to think about. But what I'm more interested in than anything else besides Cassandra. Cassandra and uh, and the headmistress are the two main characters that I'm most interested in uh, from this side story. Because obviously we, we kind of know how Ray's going to turn out and how he necessarily gets there. The process of getting to where he got to be king, that's the interesting part. But for the most part, we know how he's going to turn up. He's going to be done. R.I.P. to him, like I said. But Cassandra and the headmistress uh concern me greatly because i want to well i want to know who the headmistress is i want to see her i want to see her person i want to see how she acts uh with everybody cassandra looks like a nice person now granted i could be dead wrong and she could be an elite all the way through and through now as far as her power level and stuff goes i feel like she's gonna be at the same level as seraphina was when she still had her uh, uh powers now what her powers might be I don't know I was gonna say I hope it's flame based cause I was like hey, we haven't seen a flame based ability but 
Now, I don't think Vulcan counts. I mean, yes, she did set her hands on fire, but you know, I'm talking like, you know, uh, fireball jutsu out here, you know, shooting fireballs and stuff and everything. Blake, Blake, Blake could count, but I mean, it's not fire, that's energy beams and all that. But, I'm, and I'm really curious on how the school was like when Ray was, not, when, not even when Ray was running it, when Ray was coming up in the school. Like, because for some odd reason, I feel like the school is not as bad as it is in the current storyline of Unordinary. I feel like this the school is maybe like like they're they're like they're kind of is balanced where it's like mid tier like everyone doesn't really I'm not gonna say everyone's like all chummy but I feel like there's not as much like tension there's not as much bullying I feel like the discrimination is not as high I feel like it's still there but people are less vocal about it and I'm just really curious like I said I just feel like the school is kind of more lax uh this time around and everything um so i'm really curious to see how everything is um actually i wonder if darren is working at the school because i think darren's 28 did we get his age i'm drawing a blank here yeah so i'm wondering are we going to see a younger dr darren in here um are we going to see the headmaster the current headmaster uh wilson uh you know, before the side story ends, because Unordinary kicks off on the 27th of November. That's, like, I mean, like, a little bit over two weeks from now, so, and the chapters usually drop, like, once a week on a Wednesday, so I'm thinking we're gonna get, like, three, four chap. I'm hope I'm hoping we get, like, at least five side five chapters out of this side story before an ordinary kicks off actually to be per- to be perfectly honest i really wouldn't mind if the kickoff to season two is well actually no i don't, I don't mind <sighs> i'm rambling here sorry i would not mind if or uh since i kind of delays season two a little bit to get more info in this backstory because i feel like this backstory is really important i feel like it's gonna sit a lot of things up uh, for season two, and I feel like it's gonna clarify a few things that happened in season one, like maybe Q- maybe something happens between Ray and Qyo, and after Qyo graduates and all that, uh, he goes off and he gets recruited by Ember or something. Or hey, craziness! I'm since I'm grasping for straws. Let's just say, what if Qyo is one of the core founding members of uh, Ember? No, because that wouldn't make any sense. Because Ember's only targeting, uh, like, high tiers and elite tiers and god tiers if they happen to come across one, which is rare. I don't know, man. There's a lot of things, man. Like, but all I know is I am I was super excited to see uh, the side story. I'm actually almost a little bit more excited about the side story than I am the main story that's coming up in a couple of weeks. Don't get it wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm very interested because I, I need I need to know what Serafina and John's relationship is going to officially be like. I got speculations and I can kind of I can kind of guess to where it's going to go from a, just from a writer's standpoint. But you know we don't really know anything until Orochan tells us or she shows us in the chapters. But guys, that's enough talking. Like I said, I got more videos on the way. Definitely got a video about Cassandra pulling up, even though we hardly know anything about it. I got a video about the headmistress coming up, even though we don't know hardly anything about her. But it's just, it's fun to speculate. Tell me what you guys think is going to happen during this side story. How long do you think this side story is going to be? And what do you want to see before we get to the point where Ray uh, eventually uh, gets X'd off, you feel me? But... Guys, do the stuff that I normally tell you to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications for when I drop more videos. Make sure you like uh, this video. It really helps the channel out. Uh, make sure you go check your notifications because YouTube is tripping. And some of y'all I know do not get notified when I drop uh, content. Which makes me sad because if you like my content, I want you to see my content. And if you don't, well, I'm sorry. I can only be me. But with all that being said, it's your boy Fox.